What's up YouTube? Silver Dragons here. In this video, I'm going to try and cast a golf ball out of pure silver, but I want the final product to look like it's on a tee. Let's do it! Thank you so much for watching my video. I sincerely appreciate it. This is going to be a fun one. We're going to pour some silver. I got the furnace all ready to rock and roll, and I got the mold made. So let's go ahead and pour this bad boy and see how it turns out. Okay, so stamping this bad boy. Now, I tried once to stamp the bottom of the uh, little stand here, and it didn't work. I'll show you what happened. Uh, so I had a, a stand similar to this one and a golf ball similar to this one. And what happened was I tried to wrap some stuff around it and, uh, you know, just kind of hold it while I held the stamp and stamp on it. And it just, this thing bent, 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 bent. And then it was to the side like this. And I was like, okay, I can still make it work. And I was trying to stamp it and it ended up just breaking off and looking terrible. So, uh, anyway, it didn't work like that. So round two, I went for all the marbles. This is called jet basic. It's like plastic. You just melt it in some water uh you know you have to get up to i think like 200 degrees or just under boiling and then uh it melts down it turns into pretty much like this jelly type thing and then you can mold it so i wrapped the whole piece in this now i'm going to try and stamp the top with everything on it and then i'm going to go pull all this off so we'll see how it works but hopefully this will work out There it is, my first ever golf ball on a tee. That's totally what it looks like. Just we're all teed up, ready to drive. Uh, longest drive competition, here we come. This is super sweet, super fun. I've never made one like this before. I think it just turned out beautiful. And probably one of my favorite parts is the mound down here on the bottom. Just uh, the really interesting character that I ended up getting when the silver was poured in. And then of course we have all the stamping here on the bottom, which, oh, that was very difficult, but I'm happy it worked out. We got 14 ounces. This thing ended up being 14 ounces. So this extra stand added two ounces of silver, uh, which is really cool. We got 2019. And then we got my uh, dragon stamp up here in the corner. Very, very nice. And then we have the uh, three nines fine silver there. So super shiny. This thing ended up beautiful. I love these. This was really fun to pour. I'll definitely try and pour more of these in the future if anyone wants one. Uh, this one's already spoken for. But anyway, that was the process and the stamping process, which did work out. So very, very cool. Anyway, I want to say massive thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you in my next one. Silver Dragons out.